Orphan is back and looks way older this time. Need it to make less sense? It's also a prequel. Lena is the most dangerous criminal in Estonia, and unfortunately they keep her in the worst run insane asylum, with very little staff and plenty of utensils sitting around that she could use as weapons. It's also full of movie crazy people where they just wander the halls and the lobby making crazy faces and pushing brooms. So she escapes, of course and pretends to be the missing child of a family from America. They try explaining her face a little by saying, well, she was kidnapped and taken to another country, so she's lived a hard four years. Bullshit! If this is a prequel, then how the hell is she back to looking like a ten-year-old in the first one? We should have known that the asylum she was at was run by stupid people when the doctor says, I know she looks ten, but trust me, she's a grown woman. Yeah, no shit she is! But hey, everyone else in this universe is dumb too and thinks that this is a small child. There is no getting around it. It's never convincing. They do use body doubles in some shots, and they edit that together good enough, but there's no hiding that clearly the actress is now in her mid-twenties. They would have been better off just making it a sequel. Yeah, I know that may be a little difficult due to the ending of the previous, but I've seen characters brought back before, regardless of how the previous one ended, and it'd be no crazier than anything else that happens in this. Watching people interact with her as if she's 10 seriously goes into burial ground territory, where they got a grown man to play a small child. Only in that it was worse because he actually was supposed to be a child. Really, this one looks like it takes place in the same house from Burial Ground. She picked the perfect family to infiltrate. The house is one of those horror movie houses where it's in the middle of the country and always foggy and cloudy. The girl that Lena is impersonating also seems like she was out of a horror movie, as her room is filled with creepy dolls and a record player that plays old-timey music that only horror movie characters listen to. Now, with all of that stuff out of the way, the only way that this could possibly work is if the filmmakers knew going in that they had quite an uphill battle, so they just use that as an excuse to go crazy. And luckily, they do, because flaws aside, I had a blast watching this. There is a twist halfway through that yes, I did see coming, but I also saw the ending of the first movie coming too, and I loved the hell out of the first Orphan. It was still great at taking you along for the ride, and in this one, it's a pretty freaking wild ride too, and extremely entertaining. It goes into soap opera territory with how crazy these performances and plot turns get. Yeah, the age thing is distracting, but Isabel Furman is still fantastic in this role. I really do wish this series was given the franchise treatment after the first one because it would have been great to see her continue this role for many years. It could have been like the distant cousin to the Stepfather series of its time. And not only is she great here too, but they write it in such a way that you're honestly rooting for her. There are other characters in this movie where you can't wait to see her kill them off. They kinda turn her into an anti-hero, but they do it in a way to where it still feels like the same character. And it makes the story different enough so that it's not just doing the plot from the first one all over again. Even when it gets to the climax where there are very bad fire effects, again, the filmmakers use it as an excuse to go nuts with it, and it kinda works. Also, Julia Stiles gives one of my favorite performances of hers in a while. Screw it, I'm giving this movie a B plus. It isn't as creepy as the first, but it's very entertaining. And yes, it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be, because my expectations were low going in. The movie's playing in both theaters and on Paramount Plus, and while I did watch it on streaming because it was more convenient since I had to see another movie that day, I would have been perfectly satisfied seeing this in theaters. Thanks for watching, everyone, and speaking of the other movie I saw, I'll have a review coming up soon for Beast, so stay tuned.